Hi, this is question 6 from the AQA Call 3 January 2013 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to um, try the question out yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and try the question. Okay, what if you managed to have a go at that? I'm now going to go over a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. Okay, um, for part A, we're asked to show that um, this um, can be written as cos x squared x. So, um, my little tip for you actually is um, whenever you've got a trig question um, going on in, a, um, in an exam um, that's going to look like it's going to require identities, I would start off by writing down all of your identities so um, I start by writing sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. And um, if I divide through by sine squared x, um, that's going to give me 1 plus and cos squared x divided by sine squared x is going to be cot squared x. and 1 divided by sine squared x is going to be cos x squared x. I would also divide through by cos squared x, which means sine squared x over cos squared x is equal to tan squared x. Plus cos squared x over cos squared x is 1. And that is going to be equal to 1 over um, cos squared x is going to be sec squared x. Okay, having these written down is useful because as you work through any of these questions um, you've got something to refer to at a glance. Okay, so um, we want to use one of these identities or, or possibly two of these identities to um, rearrange that so that we've got cos x squared x. Part B um, says hence solve this equation here given the values of x to the nearest degree in this interval here. Now even if you haven't managed to do part A we can do part B because we know this is equal to cos x squared x. So I can replace this here with just cos x squared x um, and then I can rearrange that to give me a quadratic which I can hopefully then go on and solve um, to work out um, what the value of x is um, to the nearest degree in this range. Part C says hence solve this equation here given our values for theta to the nearest degree in this interval. Now <coughs> it's worth spotting here um, and, and a lot of people look at a, a question like this and, and get scared by it but this equation is exactly the same as this equation here but x has been swapped for 2 theta take away 60 degrees so the solution that you found for x here you can use over here and, and make each of those solutions equal to 2 theta take away 60 degrees and then solve each of those equations to work out what theta is. Okay, those are my hints. So if you'd now like to pause the video um, and see if you can have a go at answering these questions for yourself. Okay, I'm now going to go over the full answers to this question. Uh, I'm just gonna give myself a little bit more room here. Okay, so um, part A, um, I'm going to start by expanding the brackets down at the bottom here. So, um, so for part A, I'm going to rewrite this as sec squared x over, and if I expand this, I'm going to get um, sec squared x take away 1. Okay and um, that there is going to be um, exactly the same as um, using this identity I can see that set squared x take away 1 is going to be tan squared x. 
so I can write this as sex squared x over tan squared x. Now, um, I'm now going to rewrite this again as as sex squared x. Um, and sex squared x is one over cos squared x. And I'm going to divide by tan squared x, and tan squared x is sine squared x over cos squared x. Okay, so this is going to be the same as um, well one over cos squared x divided by sine squared x over cos squared x. Well, I can multiply by the reciprocal of this here. So I'm going to have one over cos squared x times by cos squared x over sine squared x. Now these two will cancel each other out so I'll just be left with 1 over sine squared x um, and 1 over sine squared x is the same as cos x squared x. Okay and um, there you go. Um, so that's part A and we've shown that this is equal to cos x squared x. Part B Um, we need to use this to solve um, this equation. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replace this straight away with cos x squared x. Um, and, um, and I'm going to turn this into a quadratic straight away. So I'm going to say cos x squared x take away cos, cos x x take away 3. Is equal to 0. Okay, and um, so I've got a quadratic equation here. Now, um, this we can try, but this doesn't factorize. So I'm going to um, have to use the uh, quadratic formula. So I'm going to start off by saying, well, a is going to be equal to 1, the coefficient of the um, cos x squared x term. b is going to be equal to negative 1 the coefficient of this term and c is going to be equal to negative 3 and also I'm going to write down that b squared minus 4ac the discriminant is going to be equal to and that's going to be 1 so b squared which is 1 take away 4 times 1 which is 4 times negative 3 which is negative 12 so that's going to be plus 12 so b squared take away 4ac is actually going to be equal to 1 plus 12, um, which I'm going to write down as um, 13. OK, and now I'm going to um, say, well, I'm going to have two solutions for cos x. Um, I'll write down my quadratic formula for you up here. Um, write down the um, x going to be equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Right, so, um, <coughs> so I'm going to have two solutions, one for when we plus and one for when we subtract. So I'm going to say that one of my solutions is going to be cos x x is going to be equal to, we'll use the plus, so negative b which is going to be 1 plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac which is going to be root 13 all over 2a which is 2. And my other solution is going to be 1 take away root 13 over 2. Okay, um, So that means that, and if I just um, box myself off over here, well cos x, x is 1 over sin x. So that means I can rewrite these as sin x 
is going to be equal to the reciprocal of that so it's going to be 2 over 1 plus root 13 and also sine x is going to be equal to the reciprocal of that there so 2 over 1 minus root 13 now I can use these to work out what x is um, if I put this into my calculator um, and we only want this to the nearest degree um, so I can say well using this solution here x is going to be equal to 26 degrees and using this solution over here I can say that x is going to be equal to negative 50 degrees Now I want my solutions in this range here and I've found two of my solutions so far. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a quick sketch of my sine curve so that we can see where the other solutions are going to come from. So um, my sine curve is going to look um, right um, A little bit like that and um, we're going to have a um, our 26 degree solution that's going to be over here and we've got this negative 50 degree solution that's going to be over here and we can see that we've got this other solution that's also going to um, be true and um, that solution, well if that's 26 degrees, that's going to be 180, tw take away 26 degrees. So we can see that we've got another solution when x is equal to 154 degrees. Okay, and then we've got this other solution over here. Well if that's a negative 50, and that's 180 there, this here must be negative 130 degrees. So I can say that x is equal to negative 130 degrees as my other solution and these are the only four solutions that lie between minus 180 degrees and 180 degrees now moving on to part C I'm just going to um, shift that out the way for the time being I'll stick it over here okay um, <coughs> we now uh, want to solve this equation here um, giving our solutions um, to the nearest degree in this interval here well basically all we're doing is this equation and this equation is the same thing but instead of x we've got 2 theta take away 60 degrees so for each of these I'm going to say 2 theta take away 60 degrees is equal to 26 I'm also going to say that 2 theta take away 60 degrees is equal to 154 and I've got 2 theta take away 60 degrees is equal to negative 50 degrees and 2 theta take away 60 degrees is equal to negative 130 degrees okay so for each of these now um, I could say well theta for this one um, would be uh, add 60 to this so 86 and divide by 2 which will give me 43 degrees for this one I would have theta is equal to and again I add 60 which is 214 degrees um, and then I half that which gives me 107 degrees and then um, this one here I add 60 which is 10 and half it which gives me 5 degrees and this one I add 60 which gives me negative uh, 70 and I half it and I get um, negative 35 degrees okay our range is theta has to be between 0 and 90 degrees so um, this one is outside of our range and also this one is outside of our range 
However, this one's within our range and this one's within our range. So we can write down our solution as theta is equal to 5 degrees and theta is equal to 43 degrees. And those there are going to be our two solutions. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.